How's it going guys? And welcome back to Man Like Murray, the FIFA Ultimate Team Road to Glory series based around the inform Glenn Murray. Now we start things off in this episode by taking a look at the upgrades we made from last episode. And in the English side, we upgraded our central midfielder to Skoos, the central midfielder from Ipswich Town, and our central attacking midfielder to Alex Pritchard from Norwich. And in our championship side, we actually had a comment recommending that we get Richie Delat at right back and Cherry at Cam from QPR. So they're two of the players we've upgraded to. And the other upgrade we did for this team was Aidan White from Barnsley. Going into the first game of this episode, I was hoping for better matchmaking than the last episode. And it appeared as if we'd struck gold when we got matched up against a starter team on low chemistry. So I knew going into this match, I would have to try and score as many goals as possible because the game had given me the opportunity to do so. And the first goal would fall to us as the ball's played through to Glenn Murray who slots the ball away very well into the bottom corner after 11 minutes giving us our first upgrade of the episode. And it's a very good left footed finish for Glenn Murray. We would then double our lead as Alex Pritchard plays a through ball and Glenn Murray uses his blistering pace to get through to it and absolutely smashes the ball past the goalkeeper with so much power that he barely moved, giving us our second upgrade for this game and giving Glenn Murray his brace in this match. And Glenn Murray was just too fast for the defender and managed to get in enough space to get the ball into the back of the net with what was an excellent finish. And in fact, after that, the guy had had enough, he paused the game and decided to rage quit because he couldn't handle the classic player that is Glenn Murray. And as you can see, we get three points in the division, which will draw us even closer to the promotion, which is looking very likely now to Division 9. And that's in fact our second win in a row. We now go into our next game, and I couldn't believe it when I got matched up against this team. He has players such as Benzema, James Rodriguez, Isco. Like, I didn't stand a chance. I don't know how the game had decided that this was a fair matchup. So going into this match, I thought to myself, as long as I could score a few goals, I'd be happy. But I was expecting a loss. But to my surprise, this guy wasn't very good at the game. And Cherry, our new signing, plays a ball to Glenn Murray, who smashes the ball low cross goal after the seventh minute, giving us a 1-0 lead against this guy with his amazing team. And also, in this episode, I realised that I hadn't changed Glenn Murray to his actual number on his kit, so I changed his kit number to number 17, which is what he has in real life for Brighton. We then double our lead as Giles Coke's shot is saved well, but it falls to Viv Solomon Otterbar, who whips the ball into Glenn Murray, who's not going to lose that in the air to any defender, as he's fantastic in the air, and he doubles our lead, runs to the camera and points to his name on the back of his shirt. And this guy really wasn't good, considering the team he had. He should have been all over me, and he hadn't had anything in this match up until this point. But we weren't done there. From the kickoff, the guy tried to break me down, but we won it back straight away with Giles Coke. Murray plays a 1 2 with Cherry and slips in through on goal. And Glenn Murray takes the low shot to get us another upgrade and his first hat trick of the series. Almost straight after his second goal, he goes through on goal, makes it 3 0. Absolutely annihilating this guy with his team that should have been all over me. And I just couldn't believe it. How could a guy with a team this good play so bad? Or was it just that Glenn Murray was that top quality that the guy couldn't handle it? We then make it 4 0 as Cherry finesses the ball into the back of the net, and at this point, this guy had had enough and decided he wanted to back out because he could not handle the class of Glenn Murray. And in fact, this game. We'll make it three wins on the bounce 
also giving us promotion to Division 9, although we still have to wait until the next match to gain the title. And Glenn Murray gets a perfect 10 out of 10 for his hat-trick that he scored in this match. And we can be sure that when we get promoted, there'll be a nice coin bonus on the way that will allow us to make a very nice upgrade to one of our teams. We now make the upgrades from the matches we just played, and in the English team I decided to put our two upgrades into the centre-back positions and getting Michael Mancien and Lees from Sheffield Wednesday. And in the championship side I'd also decided to upgrade a centre-back, this time to Sebastian Bassong. We also upgraded the centre mid to Daniel Johnson, as I thought he looked like a very good midfielder with lots of pace. And then we upgraded our right wing position to Craig Noon, who's in fact a former Brighton player. The next match we go into is our last game in Division 10, and it's against an Eredivisie side on full chemistry, and this guy has an informed striker as well. Now going into this match, I wasn't too sure what to expect, because it's not the best team, but usually when you come up against teams like this, the person controlling them's not that bad at the game. But we would take the lead in this match, as Jonathan Lecco's shot gets rebounded to Glenn Murray, who has the passion to get there before the defender and slide the ball into the back of the net, giving us an upgrade to our English side for the next episode. And Glenn Murray just had more desire than that defender as he lunged in to get the ball and give us a 1-0 lead. Now the rest of this match would be pretty uneventful, apart from another rebounded goal we'd score in the 90th minute, this time with our central attacking midfielder Pritchard, who would give us a 2-0 lead in the match and confirm our promotion to Division 9. And that, pretty much, was how it would end. We get a 2-0 win against a guy with a very solid side, and in this match Pritchard got the man of the match, and as you can see we got a nice coin bonus as we get promoted to Division 9, winning the Division 10 title, and admittedly we got off to a very slow start, but we picked things up late on and won ourselves the title. And going into our first match in Division 9, we come up against this, and... I just, I can't believe people in Division 9 have teams like this. It's ridiculous. And five at the back as well was just going to be so hard to break down. Andy had Buffon in goal, so I knew I'd have to have some top quality finishes if I was going to beat him. And in this match, we would in fact take the lead as Glenn Murray skips past the defender and absolutely rifles the ball into the top corner of the net in the 26th minute, giving us a 1-0 lead against this guy and his very good, very defensive side. But they're just not good enough to handle Glenn Murray. It seems that no one in these lower divisions has the quality to handle him and his unbelievable ability to be in the right place at the right time and find the back of the net. Now unfortunately this guy would get a very lucky goal as the ball fell to him on the edge of the box and Marek Hamsik beat our goalkeeper. And then we came across a problem. For some reason my Elgato decided it didn't want to record anymore but I can assure you that this game ended one all and we got our first point in Division 9 giving us one upgrade for our championship side. Now we take a look at the progress for Glenn Murray so far in this series. And in the 8 games we've used him in, he scored us 13 goals and got 2 assists. And in the next episode we have 2 upgrades, one for the championship side and one for the English side. And that's where I'm going to end it. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please leave a comment down below of who you want me to upgrade to in the next episode. And I will see you guys in the next one.